Good morning, boys and girls. My name is Miss Brittany, and I am your host. This is your teacher, Miss Julianne. Today, we will learn about tricky words. Today's lesson is titled, Tricky Words. And by the end of today's lesson, we will be able to recognize that tricky words have spellings that can be pronounced more than one way, we will identify the tricky part of the word and tell what is tricky about it. And identify if a word is tricky because of the way it looks or the way it sounds or both. Let's go ahead and get started. Ah, old, ah, old, wild, uh. Reading words is so hard to do. Don't be discouraged, I can help. The pronunciation is simpler than it looks. Miss Brittany, do you like to play tricks? <laughs> yes, one time I replaced my mom's sugar with salt. <laughs> oh no, how did she like that? <laughs> she said her coffee was too salty. <laughs> I bet it was. Did you know that words can be tricky? Wow, I didn't know that. Do they replace sugar with salt too? No, Miss Brittany, but some words have very tricky parts. Boys and girls, first we will compare words with the oo and u uh vowel sounds by sorting them into categories. Let's warm up by segmenting or breaking apart sounds. When segmenting sounds, Miss Julianne will say each word. Then we will segment or divide the word into the separate sounds it is made up of. I'll need your help, boys and girls. Are you ready? Let's go. Segment the word spoon into the sounds that make up the word. Sp -n. Now say spoon. Spoon. Did you hear oo or uh in the middle position of the word spoon? Oo. Great job. Let's try another one. Segment the word moon into the sounds that make up the word. Mm, oo, mm. Now say moon. Moon. Do you hear oo or uh? in the middle position of the word moon. Uh, ooh. Fantastic. Segment the word book into the sounds that make up the word. Help me, boys and girls. B -u -k. Now say book. Book. Did you hear ooh or uh in the middle position of the word book? Uh. You got it. Now let's examine some words with the letters OO in them. Look at the words on the left side. They are boo, moon, and root. The spelling OO is pronounced oo in these words. Look at the words on the right side. Let's read them out loud. Book, hook, hood. Wow, in these words, the spelling OO is pronounced uh rather than ooh. Great observation, Brittany. Do you think the spelling OO could be causing problems when you're reading? Yes, they both look just alike, but they make different sounds. Let's read them out loud. Boys and girls, OO is a tricky spelling. The spelling is tricky because it can be pronounced in more than one way. To figure out how to pronounce this tricky spelling in any given word, we may need to try to pronounce it both ways. You're right, Miss Brittany. Let's look back at our chart. The tricky OO spelling is in the middle circle. 
Look at the words on slide on side one. When we see O O, the O sound is most likely the pronunciation. Therefore, we should try it first. Now look at the words on side two. The U uh sound is a less likely option, and we should try this pronunciation only if the first way does not sound right. If it does not sound right, try reading it with the U uh pronunciation. Let's try some examples. Listen carefully as Miss Julianne reads each word. She will try to read the words with the oo pronunciation, and we will decide if that sounds right. If it does not, she will try the uh pronunciation. Then we will add the word to the correct side of the anchor chart. Boys and girls, we might need your help. Here is our first word. Okay, I see oo in the word. I'm going to sound it out and try the oo pronunciation first. Ooh, ooh, mmm, bloom. That sounds right. Great job. I will add it to the anchor chart on the ooh side. Let's try another one. Boys and girls, you sound out the word this time. Remember, try ooh first. F, ooh, d. Food, that sounds right. Here, the O-O is making the oo sound. Awesome job. I will add it to the anchor chart side, the oo side of the anchor chart with bloom and moon. This is our next word. Boys and girls, sound out the word. I'm going to try oo first. G, ooh, d. Wait, that sounds funny. I should try the uh pronunciation. G, uh, d. Good! That time the o o was pronounced uh. Wonderful. I'll add this word to the uh side as in book. Take a look at this word. Can you sound it out? Say each sound as I point. I bet I can sound it out. First, I'm going to try the oo sound. T, oo, k, took. Wait, that doesn't sound right. I should try the uh pronunciation. T, uh, k, took. That time, O-O was pronounced uh. You got it. I'll add this word to the uh side with good and book. Boys and girls, try this next one. Can you sound it out? Say each sound as I point. Try oo first. K, oo, k, kook. Oh man, that doesn't sound right. Try the uh pronunciation. K, uh, k, cook. It isn't pronounced kook, it's cook. <laughs> Great job. I will add this word to the uh side of the anchor chart. Okay, last one guys. Sound out this word. Say each sound as I point. N, ooh, n. How did you say that word? Right, it's pronounced noon. Awesome job. I will add it to the anchor chart on the ooh side, like bloom and food. Let's read all the words together. Bloom, food, noon, good, took, cook. Great job helping me sort those tricky OO words. Now let's review a few letters and sounds that we know. Great idea. This is the letter S. S C 
says s. Say that sound. S. Great job. This is the letter H. H says <gasps> Say that sound. <gasps> Great job. This is the letter D. D says D. Say that sound. D. Great job. This is the letter W. W says W. Say that sound. W. Great job. This is the letter C. C says K. Say that sound. K. Great job. This is the consonant digraph SH. A digraph is two letters that make one sound. SH says SH. Say that sound. SH. Great job. Okay, we know that OO can make different sounds, and we also know that most letters and sounds. We also know most letters and sounds, so can we please learn more about tricky words? Yes, Miss Brittany, I think you are ready. I will introduce the word. The word is should. Students, say the word together. Should. Can you use the word in a sentence? I can. I should do my homework every night. Yes, you should. Great job using the word in sentence. Students, let's segment the sounds and tap them out. Sh, o, d. How many sounds are in the word? Three. I bet I can spell this word. S, H, O, O, D. You almost got it, but remember, this word is tricky. Let's figure out the correct way to spell this word. Let's say the word and tap the sounds again. Should. Should. Sh. Uh. D. Sh. Uh. D. I hear three sounds, so I will add three lines. What is the first sound we hear? Sh. What letters spell that sound? S H. I added S H on our first line. What's the word? Should. What is the last sound you hear? D. What letter spells that sound? D. I added the letter D on our last line. What is the word? Should. What is the middle sound in my word? Uh. Correct. In the word should, we spell the uh sound with the letters O-U-L. These are the letters you will have to remember by heart. It's the tricky part of the word. I added a heart around the letters O-U-L to help us remember the tricky part. The other parts of the word, you can use your phonics skills to help you. Let's sound it out one more time, looking at the correct spelling of the whole word. Sh, u, d, s, h, o, u, l, d, should. Great job. Wow, words can be tricky. They sure can. Would you like to learn another tricky word? Yes. Very good. Okay, this tricky word rhymes with should. Okay. The word is could. Oh. Students, say the word together. Could. Can you use the word in a sentence? Oh, I can. I could do my homework every night. Yes, you could. Great job using the word in a sentence. Students, let's segment the sounds and tap them out. C Good. How many sounds are in the word? Three. I I bet I can spell this word. Okay. C O O D. Could. 
You almost got it, but remember, this word is tricky. Let's figure out the correct way to spell this word. Let's say the word and tap the sounds again. Could. Could. K -u -d. K -u -d. I hear three sounds, so I will add three lines. What is the first sound we hear? K. What letter spells that sound? C. I added the letter C on our first line. What's the word? Could. What is the last sound you hear? D. What letter spells that sound? D. I added the letter D on our last line. What's the word? Could. What is the middle sound in my word? Uh. Correct. In the word could, we spell the uh sound with the letters O-U-L. These are the letters that you'll have to remember by heart. It is the tricky part of the word. I added a heart around the letters O-U-L to help us remember the tricky part. The other parts of the word, you can use your phonics skills to help you with. Let's sound it out one more time, looking at the correct spelling of the whole word. C -u -d. C -o -u -l -d. C-O-U-L-D. Great job! Hey, the words should and could rhyme because they have the same ending sounds. They also have the same tricky spelling. Very good. Let's learn one last tricky word that rhymes with the words should and could. The word is would. Hmm. Students, can you say the word together? Would. Now, can you use the word in a sentence? Mm, I can. <laughs> I would do my homework every night. Yes, you would. Great job using the word in a sentence. Students, let's segment the sounds and tap them out. Would. How many sounds are in the word? Three. <laughs> I bet I can spell this word. Okay, I'm ready. W-O-U-L-D. You got it. Great job remembering that this word is tricky. Let's practice spelling this word. Let's say the word and tap the sounds again. Wood. 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 I hear three sounds, so I will add three lines. What is the first sound we hear? W. What letter spells that sound? W. I added the letter W on our first line. What is the word? Would. What is the last sound you hear? D. What letter spells that sound? D. I added the letter D on our last line. What's the word? Would. What is the middle sound in my word? Uh. Correct. In the word would, we spell the uh sound with the letters O-U-L. These are the letters you will have to remember by heart. It is the tricky part of the word. I added a heart around the letters O-U-L to help us remember the tricky part. The other parts of the word you can use your phonics skills to help you with. Let's sound it out one more time looking at the correct spelling of the whole word. W-O-U-L-D. L D would. Great job. Hey, the words should, could, and would rhyme. They also have the same tricky spelling. Great observation. I can read so many words now. Can we read some more? Sure, why don't we read a passage about a hare and a frog? Boys and girls, let's use what we just learned about tricky words to decode them in our passage. And remember that some words have tricky parts. The tricky words would, 
could and should all appear in this message. Do your best to remember the tricky parts in those words. Okay, students, let's read. Three hares stood in the grass. I am sad, one of them said. I wish we could be brave. So do I, said the next one. We should be brave, but we are not. A splash in the brook would scare us. The wind in the grass could scare us. We are scared all the time. Yes, said the last one, we should not be so scared. It is sad to be a hare. Miss Brittany, you were awesome at reading those tricky words. Thank you, Miss Julianne. I could have never have read them without you teaching me about tricky words. And thank you for joining us today. All rights and credits from this lesson belong to Core Knowledge Language Arts. We would like to thank them for publicly sharing these materials. If you're interested in learning more tricky words, check out these free websites online. UFLI Virtual Teaching Resource Hub and Really Great Readings Heart Word Magic. Use what you have learned today. Write or dictate words or sentences that use the new spellings and words that we learned. Thank you for joining us today and we'll see, see you again, again soon. soon.